Three fairly popular Broadway tunes there for Marching Down Broadway. I thought it was a really clever arrangement there, how uh, if you were recognized all three of those melodies as they appeared, um, that would have been 76 trombones, uh, obviously from the Music Man, uh, that would have been Consider Yourself from Oliver, and then uh, a, a piece called Hey Look Me Over from a musical called Wildcat, which I'll be honest with you, I had not heard of before. I knew the song, didn't know where it was from, and there we go. Um, but really neat how he kind of interwove those melodies on top of each other and took us through a kind of standard march form while, while using some non-standard marches from uh, our American musical history. So uh, a lot of fun with that. Um, as we move around, uh, this is kind of a uh, worldly celebration of music in our schools month. Um, we moved to a piece by a Pittsburgh native, a Pittsburgh native by the name of Samuel Hazel. Um, he is a uh, longtime composer and uh, arranger and clinician and works with a lot of folks around the Pittsburgh area um, and uh, uh, out of the Duquesne area uh, and, and worked at Duquesne University. Um, very interesting piece that he did called Solas Agne, uh, which in Gaelic means yesterday's joy. Um, and there's a very interesting story uh, behind this um, where uh, it, it's talking about uh, a couple of different, um, very close passings in the composer's life uh, uh, between individuals that he was very close with, uh, be it um, a relative or colleague that happened to pass away very close to each other. And um, the, the piece itself was uh, uh, composed as a lament of sorts for those passings, and uh, as well as a celebration, um, as we're gonna find. This is a uh, very interesting blend of both a very traditional style of chorale, where we have a lot of layered parts uh, kind of overlapping over top of each other, uh, as well as a very traditional Gaelic dance uh, style, which we will hear from some of the upper woodwinds and being supported by our many, many percussionists in the back. Um, very unique piece and a very challenging one as well. Um, certainly the, the most meaty piece of the concert for us. Uh, this is Yesterday's Joy, Solis Agne by Samuel Hazo.
with our quick turnaround uh, from our last concert, which was uh, just two weeks ago, uh, I was a little concerned about what and how we were able to handle that transition to a new uh, set of music. Solazani was a piece we kind of worked a little bit before that concert happened, and uh, the first piece we listened to was one they did in two weeks. Um, this next one is one that uh, we did at the concert, and uh, I knew that we could do it even better, and it's a fun one I wanted to bring back out uh, because it took a lot of work uh, to get to a playing uh, level. Um, this is a lot of fun. This is a piece uh, that features music by Paul Simon. Uh, and if you're familiar with his work, you're familiar, he's a very worldly musician in that he draws upon a lot of different influences from his travels. Um, he's done a lot of philanthropy work and, and um, uh, just a lot of traveling around the world, and he really kind of takes into his bag of tricks all the different things musically that he's learned and brings it into his music. Um, so the piece is going to feature quite a few different uh, uh, pieces of his, uh, most of which uh, would be from the Simon and Garfunkel era of Paul Simon, and uh, features uh, quite a few solos from around the band. Um, to that end, I want to take a moment once again to thank Mr. Sisler for sitting with us this evening, as well as uh, another individual wasn't able to join us tonight, and coming in at the last moment was Mr. Russell Couch on trumpet, and I'd like to take a moment to thank him. Thank you. As well as his uh, crew that is uh, working in the booth and behind the scenes tonight as well. Um, there are many people to thank for this evening's performance, our administration for making this possible, we do have a very supportive administration here for the music and the arts in a time in education in which it's very difficult to do so. Blackhawk continues to remain strong in that facet and our administration is to be applauded for their efforts. So any of them that you see, please make sure that you thank them for keeping music as a vital and important daily part of our children's education because without it, I cannot imagine uh, a, a world without that. Uh, I just read something where, where uh, there are several foreign countries now where there's not even uh, public music permitted. Um, you're not allowed to listen to music in public or, or perform music in public so they don't stay in schools. I cannot imagine going through life like that. So it's wonderful to have that here and, and as strong as it is at Blackhawk. So to those individuals, thank you. Um, One final piece of recognition. Uh, this is a difficult week uh, for all of us. Uh, concert week is always that way. Uh, but for one individual uh, who will be traveling to Hershey tomorrow and auditioning against the best oboe players in the state uh, to uh, uh, earn a chair um, at the top, hopefully, of our all-state wind ensemble. He's already done a tremendous job through his rigorous auditions to make it to that point. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to wish luck and to congratulate Mr. Jack Whalen. to our music faculty here, um, both Mrs. McDonald and Mr. Goodrich at, and Mr. Hoytich at the middle school level and, and at Biz, Mr. Goodrich here at the high school and Mrs. Underwood as well. It's very, very refreshing to have a team of teachers that work together so that we have kids, in case you haven't noticed, there's a couple kids that you will not see leave the stage tonight. Um, that's difficult. It takes time and effort on their behalf as well as a lot of sharing on our behalf. And uh, it's wonderful to work with such great people to help make that happen. So thank you to those folks. Without any further ado, here is the genius of Paul Simon.
Thank you.